Hey guys, it's Joel the Home Cooking Hunter with Breaking Wild and we're here today to talk to you about scent lures and scent attractants. We're gonna be talking about several different types of scent lures and ways to use them. We're also gonna be talking about some scent attractants that you can use to bring those suckers in and also cover up your own scent. Now, the first one I wanna to talk to you about is for your early season. It's when bow season's coming in or you got that pre-season camera footage you just wanna get on your trail camera. And it is a scent that's called Bring Em In. Now, Bring Em In is that, it's, it is a scent that Gerard over at Rat Getters developed that makes deer feel comfortable. It makes them feel like, hey, there's a lot of buddies around here. My, there's been deer in this area. I feel comfortable being in here. So when I am going in for uh, bow season for archery, this is something I carry in my pack to spray on trees as I walk in, as I walk out, to put on my boots, to cover up my scent and my presence to make any buck or, or doe or any deer in that area feel comfortable. The second one I wanna to talk to you about is right after that archery season really gets underway. It's before the preseason rut and as you go in through it. This is a product that he has called Climax. It's derived of hot doe and, and rutting buck urines that he's put together that when you make a mock scrape, so if you're gonna do mock scrapes or you know if you wanna get those licking branches ready and going, this is something that you can use to put in that scrape that's gonna get does and bucks coming back to that scrape um, on a regular basis and doing their thing inside that. This is something you can use year round uh, throughout the peak of the rut all the way to the end of the season to just get deer comfortable and coming into your scrapes and your licking branches. The next scent we're gonna talk about is a scent called Hot Trot. Hot to trot is that peak of the rut when you really want to get them running in or stop them in their tracks or direct them towards your stand or your scrapes. This is what you're going to use. It's got that hot dough urine in there that is really going to drive the bucks crazy. It's, uh, it's something you can use in combination with the Climax to really get the area stirred up for that buck that you want to pinpoint the area that you want to, to shoot him in. This is a scent that I highly recommend from Rat Getters. The last liquid we're gonna talk about is called Ruts Up. Now Ruts Up is that dominant buck urine that you're gonna use and you're gonna spray throughout the trees. You're gonna spray it in wherever you're spraying the hot to trot. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna tell any dominant buck that is in your area, hey, there's another buck trying to invade on my territory and I need to check him out or kick his butt, one of the two. So this is something that you can use in conjunction with Climax and Hot to Trot. Combo these scents together to make the entire package to tell the story for the deer that are in your area. Ruts Up can be a lethal weapon when it comes to combining to the different scents and really sealing the deal with that uh, mature buck in your area. So the next things I'm gonna talk to you about are gels and paste and how to use these. These products are next level when it comes to really bringing the whole story together and bringing those deer in. First one we're gonna talk about is the paste. Why you should use a paste? Well, one, a paste is more concentrated, it's thicker, it lasts longer. So if you're going to use a paste, if, you want, if you're not gonna be coming back to that area for a long time, you can take this paste right here and you can rub this into a booty, you can rub it into a scent wick, you can really grind it in there, you can grind it into a branch. And this paste is going to last probably three times longer than any liquid form that you're gonna put in there. And this is why a paste is a lethal, lethal aspect when it comes into scent attractant, bringing that big buck into your area. Next on the list is gels. I love gels. So when I make a scrape, when I make a mock scrape, I'm gonna use Climax, Hot to Trot, or the Ruts Up. And I'm gonna put these gels into the, into the scrape itself. And what's beneficial about the gel is it is the urine 
soaked up into a gel form. And when you put this into your scrape right here, it lasts, not only lasts longer, but if a buck or a doe comes by and they urinate into that scrape, it reactivates the gel. The gel will actually soak up their urine, hence making it last longer and also making it a hotter spot for the deer or buck in that area to come to. You can get the gel or the paste in any of the scents, attract the scents, scent lures that rat getters make. From Climax, Hot to Trot, Ruts Up. You can get them all in the gel or paste form and I highly recommend that you guys try it and take it to the next level. So with any of these products, I highly recommend that you carry in your pack some scent wicks or some boot pads. I like to carry boot pads. You know, boot pads look something like this right here. It's something that I will take and I will strap onto the bottom of my boot and I'll grind that paste into this right here. Uh, I'll, then I'll spray it down to reactivate it. But what I can do is I can put these on my boots, I can grind that paste in, walk into where I'm going. That's going to lay a scent trail right to where my kill zone needs to be. Then I can hang these boot pads up into a tree, spray them down to reactivate them just a little more. But that paste that I like to use in this, will last a very long time. Mm -hmm. Now that we've gone over all the scent lures, let's go over some scent attractants, things that you can use as a cover scent or just to really amp up the activity in your area. And we're gonna go over the sprays that Rat Getters offers in order to do that. First one and probably the most popular is apple pie. Apple pie is something that you can take and that you can spray in that kill zone area or, or any all over the area just to cover your scent or if you want them to come stick their nose in a certain spot, this is something that you can use. They've got them in all kinds of different flavors from the apple pie, the soybean, sweet corn, molasses, or even persimmons. I've got persimmons and soybeans on my property and I'm telling you, I use that stuff and they're used to smelling those certain things, but there's nothing like the good apple pie that's really gonna get a deer's nose curious. Last thing I wanna show you guys is something that's really cool and really fun that I was introduced to about a year ago, and that's polymers. Polymers are great, because they can soak up any scent that you wanna put on. Right here, I have a can of persimmon polymers. If I was hunting under a persimmon tree, I would throw this all in my blind, or if I was going to, if I knew I was going to hunt there, I'd put it in my gear bag the night before so I would smell like the area. You can get this in dirt scent, pine. You can also get these polymers right here in the urine scents as well. So I love the polymers. They're very universal and there's an extra added bump to your hunting experience. So guys, that's it. It's just that easy. I hope this video helped you understand how to use urine-based attractants better, how to use food attractants better. The reason I like to use rat getters, the reason we at Breaking Wild love rat getters is because it's a one-stop shop. I can go there and I can pick up what I need per my situation. And guys, if you don't see what you need, give Gerard a call, explain to him what you need. I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this. We hope you all have a great hunting season and be sure to use some scent lures this season. We'll see you.